Welcome to Push To Be More with me, your host, Matt Edmondson. Now this is a show that talks about the stuff that makes life work. And to help us do just that, I am chatting with my very special guest, Vladimir Botswaze, uh, from, from, well, just all over, it seems. <laughs> and we're going to talk to Vladimir yes, about where he's mind. had to push yes, through, what he does mind. to recharge his batteries and to be, as well as what more looks like for him. Now, the shouts, the shouts, the show notes, I'm going to take that as a word. The show notes uh, and transcript from my conversation with Vladimir will be available on the website pushtobemore.com. And whilst you're there, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. And each week, we'll email you the links and the notes from the show automatically. Magically, they go straight to your inbox. Now, this episode is brought to you by Orion Media, which helps entrepreneurs and business leaders set up and run their own successful podcast. Why on earth would you want to do that? That is because, in my humble opinion, it's probably one of the best marketing tools out there at the moment. I have found running my own podcast to be a really rewarding thing to do. Opens doors to amazing people like nothing I have seen. I've built networks, made friends, had a platform to champion my customers, my team and my suppliers, and genuinely think everybody should have their own podcast just because of the impact it's had on my own business, which of course sounds wonderful in theory, doesn't it? But in reality, there are quite a few problems to think about. What's the strategy? How do I get set up? How do I launch this whole thing right? What about production? The list goes on. Well, that's where Ori and Media come in and take everything off your plate other than chatting to your guests. Uh, I see, I love talking to people, but I'm not a big fan of all that other stuff. So I just give it to them, which they do brilliantly, which is awesome. So if you're wondering whether podcasting is a good marketing strategy for your business, do connect with them at orionmedia.com. That's A-U-R-I-O-N media.com. Now, that's the show sponsor. Let's talk about the show's guest. With a distinctive voice echoing across the globe, Vladimir has etched his name as a celebrated icon in the sphere of digital transformation and social media. His journey, which spans more than 15 years, has been marked by numerous accolades, thought leadership, and lots of invigorating keynote speeches. Uh, he is full of influential startup advice and is basically an infectious online persona. He's a great guy. Currently crowned as the top-ranked marketing and retail influencer by Thinkers360, Vladimir continues to redefine the digital landscape with his unmatched expertise and innovative outlook. And also, I might add to this bio, uh, I've not met that many people with a joy and a passion uh, to the degree, Vladimir, that you have for what you do. So welcome to the show. It's great to have you. I've been looking forward to this conversation, man. Hi, Matt. You know, thanks a lot for inviting me to your podcast. And, uh, you know, uh, when I, in retrospect, when I look back, I'm very grateful to the UK because I moved to UK at the age of 22 in London. Uh, I, I used to live in Mottingham, um, uh, Catford, um, uh, uh, and Egham, you know, where, mm -hmm. I mean, I gained practical experience. I studied business marketing and, and uh, I'm very grateful to the UK from the bottom of my heart for all support that I now work with speakers agencies. I work with, I have been invited, I was invited as a award judge to Prolific Nurse Marketing Awards last year. And I was the only international judge to Prolific Nurse last year. So I'm very grateful for all support. And I believe that uh, uh, this uh, business is a uh, two-way street for me. And I always look forward to, uh, give, uh, to giving back and uh, to helping my friends in the UK through my expertise, you know. Fantastic. Well, it's great to have you, Vladimir. It's great to have you. Now, this show, Vladimir, as I mentioned, is sponsored by Orion Media, the podcast genius, guys. Now, if you had your own podcast and you could have a guest on the show, someone from your past or the present, no doubt, the only thing being, the only rule is they've had to have a, had to have had a really big influence on your life. Who would be someone that you would like to interview on the show and why? It would be Matt uh, James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, uh, if you follow James on uh, Twitter, you, you you know to what an ama amazing leader he is because he provides content that is in followers' best interest, literally, very eye-opening and, uh, uh, and uh, 
refreshing perspective, you know, from his content, from his book. He's an amazing individual, you know. I, I praise uh, Ma, uh, James to the skies because of his willingness to give back and to inspire people, you know. So what was it? Um, I, well, let me ask you this question. What are some of the key insights that you took away from his book? Well, it's, it's all about uh, capitalizing on a digital transformation to tell your story, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and James is an amazing storyteller because he has so many followers on Twitter. So many people follow him. He, uh, he inspires, I mean, so many people. And of course, when I started following him on Twitter, I have been, I have been inspired by him, by his wisdom, by his inspiration. You know, it's just that we lack people like uh, James because uh, James leads by example, you know, and James wants to see many confident and uh, uh, successful people around him in his community. So I would advise uh, James as a drop of a hat uh, uh, to my podcast uh, to let him to share his wisdom with my audience. Yeah, no, fair enough. I'm just looking here, Vladimir, on, uh, on the Amazon website, uh, Atomic Habits, his book. Uh, which was released in 2018. I didn't realize it was that long ago. I thought it was much more recent. I don't know why. But it's had over 136,000 reviews. Um, that's a phenomenal number of reviews, isn't it? For a book? Unparalleled, unrivaled, you know. James James is just cream of the crop. Mm. Yeah, yeah, well, if you're listening to the show, go and follow James on and Twitter. You know, Matt, and tell uh, him I'm, I'm, very delighted, I'm very delighted that uh, I embarked on this uh, journey from scratch uh, in the, and in, in the last nine years, I have managed to join speakers bureaus. I'm alongside uh, James Clear uh, as a speaker at some speakers bureaus throughout the world. And it's just like that uh, I live my passion every single day. You know, I, I mm. don't follow the crowd. Even if it takes uh, three years, four years, five years to build my pass, I hit the ground running and I go into overdrive because I don't have my time to waste. And uh, every second should be spent on uh, making my dreams come true, you know, because I was 18 when I moved to New York. And when you, even uh, in childhood, I was burning the midnight oil and uh, it, it was my dream to explore in the United States at early age. Mm. So my dreams came true. Then it was followed by the UK. And you know that uh, uh, for me, United States and the UK are two peas in a pot, almost the same mentality. Uh, galvanizing people, forward thinkers, uh, uh, and these uh, environments uh, just uh, applause and cherish your uh, uh, determination, your hard work, uh, hard working skills, you know, your sleepless nights, you know, and I was sleeping like uh, four hours a day in order to build my personal brand. And, you know, building a, a huge following on Twitter is not a walk in the park. I was just uh, uh, building my dreams. I was just uh, connecting with the world. Mm. It was just, I you know that communication dictates everything we do. If we don't uh, communicate with the world, nothing great happens, you know. And it's all about, uh, Matt, uh, emotional connection with my followers, you know. For example, Nike has emotional collection, uh, co connection with us because Nike story tells. Nike uh, collaborates with top athletes to tell the best stories, right? So it's inspire inspiring example for me that uh, I position myself as a media company, that I provide value. I position yeah. myself in a media company like Forbes, like uh, Guardian, like uh, CNN, uh, Bloomberg, to, to tell my story, uh, to publish informative content that was in my followers' best interest. And uh, my, uh, uh, my efforts truly you know, perform miracles, you know. So um, <clears throat> there's a lot there, Vladimir. <laughs> there's a lot there. Let me dig into some of this. So you said that you were 18 when you went to New York. Where were you yes. before New York? Where did you come from? I come from Tbilisi, Georgia, Matt, you know. In Georgia. <laughs> so yes. why did you move to New York when you were 18? Was this um, a, a family thing? Was this just no, because I was, you... I was, uh, I was involved in a summer exchange program, you know. It okay. was a work and travel, work and travel program. And uh, first I was in uh, Washington, D.C. area where I... I had trainings, then I, I got my certificate, then I got my social security card from the State Department, then I was sent with my colleague to Menezes, Virginia, which is like a 25 minute drive from DC, you know, and mm -hmm. then afterwards, two months later, I moved to New York City, you know, it's the best melting pot in the world, and I wanted to explore this amazing city. 
I started seeing the world faster, easier, clearer. And you know that US experience is worth it when in gold. Uh, I, I, I have just uh, started taking risks, you know. Mm. I have yeah. become a risk taker. I have become a risk, risk taker. And, you know, I, I always want to uh, give 150% day in and day out, you know. Mm. So when you, when you explore all avenues, all streets uh, in, uh, in Manhattan, you know, and when your city is empty, it's very tough, you know, because it's very tough to get experience, to get a job. So, so I was building, I was just dreaming that I wanted to rub shoulders with successful people. I wanted to get inside track. I want to establish myself as a game changer in New York City. And, uh, you know, these social media networks emerged like Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram. And it, uh, it was like a road to Damascus to, for me in order to tell my story, you know. Mm -hmm. So here you are, you know, a young 18 year old lad from Georgia uh, going to New York. And what, what is intriguing me here, Vladimir, is you, you come from a, um, from a, a, a different culture. Um, I mean, I, I, it is different, isn't it? The, the culture between Georgia and, and, and America is different. Yes, of course. Of course. Um, so and then obviously you, you, you talked a little bit about, you know, the, the ability in the US to sort of um, work hard, have that, you know, rewarded the American dream, as we like to call it. And yes. a similar, I, I suppose, a little bit to the UK. But what, what are some of the things that stand out between the, the culture that you grew up in and the culture that you... Um, moved to and, and and what was it about that that really drew you in you know Matt, you know that uh, my country was part of uh, soviet union for 70 years and mm. and you know since i was born in 1987 i have been uh, swimming against the current mm -hmm. you know i mean uh, i i was burning midnight oil i just wanted to think different i was a dreamer mm -hmm. i had tutors in childhood that uh, my parents uh, supported me as much as it was possible so education is a best investment right so yeah. uh, uh, all efforts paid off because uh, my uh, my parents then uh, moved to capital at the age of 15 just to help me uh, make my dreams come true you know and uh, even uh, many parents uh, would not take such a risk uh, to move to the capital in order for for a greener pastor in order to help their kids uh, make their dreams come true so then uh, then you know uh, i passed my ent entry exams i started uh, uh, doing my uh, ba bachelor's degree in computer mm -hmm. engineering yeah. so so at the end of uh, second year of my bachelor studies i uh, i was given a us visa to move to the united states to get a practical experience and to uh, expand my horizon time is very precious so i can't turn the clock back and time very pre precious you know so i always try to make uh, uh, the right decisions even uh, i make 100 deci decisions a day and it's not uh, easy to be vladimir in uh, 2023 because i take so much responsibility i wear so many hats i go into a drive you, you know so but but you know it's just um, i followed my path i mm. i live i have been living my passion and i i don't need to follow the crowd to be mm. in survival mode you know so i have been in gross mode and i have turned all the tables because I love what I'm doing, and uh, and you know now the shoe is on the other foot. <laughs> Such a great phrase. Such a great phrase. So what does um, what does the business uh, what what does your business day look like? What does a typical day for Vladimir look like now? Yeah, it's it's very passionate, you know, very energetic, very dynamic. You know, I work with twenty five speakers bureaus throughout the world. So so I often receive uh, like uh, invitations. Uh, to get featured uh, in uh, magazines, Matt, you know, and I was mm. featured in Exelion magazine, Matt. Mm -hmm. Exelion magazine. Yep, oh, there he is. Yep. Yes. Uh, in uh, Delavar, uh, uh, Exelion magazine recognized me uh, as a transformative leader of the year, you know. So uh, I'm also able to judge, uh, Matt, you know, I, I have been invited to Gartner and Communication Marketing Awards in London. And of course, it's a great uh, privilege even to be recognized by uh, Gartner as a leading marketing thought leader. So I, I have judged amazing projects of Fortune 500 brands. And, uh, you know, I was uh, uh, a member of marketing judging committee of the American Business Awards last year, and, and I judged the biggest projects of uh, big, big, biggest brands, you know. And uh, of course, I'm also a public speaker. As you know, I work with uh, six, seven uh, uh, speakers agencies in the UK, I work with champion speakers, inspirational speakers, 
Kruger Cohn. I also work with uh, many, many speakers agencies, you know, so mm. I deliver my master classes, I deliver my workshops, I deliver my kino- uh, podcast episodes, I deliver my keynote speeches. And uh, of course, I believe Matt, that I, I, I believe in uh, putting eggs into different baskets, you know, mm-hmm. I don't depend on one uh, revenue stream. And I want to put my eggs into different baskets to be in gross mode and to have a contribution, even, even as you know, that Syncast 360, which is the first open platform for, for global software leaders, has ranked me as number one global marketing software since 2019. I have been ranked number one. So consistent action creates consistent results. So so the, the more uh, award ceremonies I judge, uh, the more interviews I have, the more speakers bureaus I join, uh, the more followers I gain, right? Uh, this uh, algorithm gives me higher scores. So I have been ranked number one in the world. And, it's just remarkable that, you know, through passion, through sleepless nights, through long-term thinking. And I advise everyone, Matt, to deploy uh, long-term thinking, long-term thinking, you know, it's very game-changing. When you, when you talk about long-term thinking, what do you mean by that? What's your, what's your definition of long-term thinking? Long-term thinking is that we need to envisage what will happen in a five or 15, 20 years, not in a, a, one year or two years, you know, we need to reinvest every penny in our growth, even if we for example, build our personal brands. And there are 8 billion people in the world and uh, and, uh, 5.4 billion mobile users, 5.2 billion internet users, and 4.8 billion social media users. Consumers trust uh, people. uh, Consumers trust influencers, thought leaders, not companies and not executives and logos because executives and uh, directors of big organizations are not willing to download social media channels like Twitter, Instagram to share their... Uh, expertise outside their companies, you know? So I have been in storytelling mode. I have galvanized my audience on Twitter. Uh, I built uh, uh, trust with my followers. It's not about uh, uh, gaining uh, followers, Matt. It's all about building community. So the power of community is just uh, miraculous. You can make your dreams come true when you build your personal brand. So as you know, like a big uh, automotive companies depend on advertising, right? So, but Tesla, Tesla does not depend on uh, advertising. Uh, Tesla depends on Elon Musk's personal brand. So it is a best example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is a best example uh, to build your uh, personal brand, to build your authority, so leadership, to tell your story, and to be close to your consumers and audiences on worldwide. So I, I, Vladimir, I agree with you on the whole personal brand and yeah, and Tesla and, and Elon Musk and how those two things are very closely intertwined. And, and buying Twitter was probably one of the most extraordinary marketing moves I've seen for a long time. Um, if someone's listening to the show, because we have a lot of CEOs, business leaders uh, listening to the show, where personal brand is one of those things that they've maybe not done a whole great deal with up until this point. Um, where do they start? Do they... Do they open up a Twitter account, uh, an Instagram account? What What's your advice to, to people who, who who need to understand where to start when it when it comes to personal brand? Uh, Matt, you know it's a great question. Uh, I just want to remind everyone of that: uh, great ox grow from small acorns. You know, mm-hmm. so big things have small beginnings. So if you yeah. even open a Twitter account and if you start tweeting, even if you follow like a three hundred uh, three thousand people like i mean uh, 750 will follow you back so you will need you, you will uh, you need to uh start uh, building uh, your account gradually uh, mm. to sh- uh, to uh, to show more patience uh, to uh, to create uh, great content compelling content you know and to connect with the world because 85 percent of global technology leaders use twitter you know mm. even through networking you can uh, become a billionaire through networking so yeah. networking, you can become a keynote speaker. So networking, you can build a like a million dollar marketing agency. So networking, you can uh, rub shoulders with successful people. So the market decides, Matt, what is good and bad. The market is a decision maker. So not MBAs, not business schools, not professors, because uh, like uh, business schools are what on the bridge and even MBA degrees. And even when Elon Musk uh, is hiring, he does not check out uh, MBA degrees, you know, yeah. as a, as a web your CV, in LinkedIn your CV, uh, Twitter is your CV. So what you publish today 
is going to bring you success tomorrow. So it's a now or never for everyone uh, to tell their stories and to be in growth mo mode through social media channels because it used to cost a fortune to reach global audiences like uh, set years ago and you used you had to pay millions of dollars to traditional media to reach global audiences. And, and through Twitter, at no cost, you can reach millions of people. And my work has reached million, millions of people annually. Just mm. remarkable, remarkable figure, you know. So the platform that you, I mean, you've talked a lot about Twitter, uh, Vladimir. Is, is that your preferred platform or do you prefer like Instagram or LinkedIn? What's your... What's your oh, sort I of mean, place uh, of choice? Uh, LinkedIn is very competitive, Matt, you know, very competitive. Uh, everyone is try uh, everyone is trying to put uh, their best foot forward. It's very competitive, but uh, it's, uh, Twitter is more collaborative, you know. Mm. Twitter allows you, Twitter is like a cocktail party for the business world. Just imagine that you are at a cocktail party. You are mixing with people, you break their eyes, you exchange experiences, you know. So you build a great co contacts and connections uh, because of this network. So if uh, create, if you uh, tweet great content, people will start retweet, uh, retweeting you and it uh, will uh, skyrocket your brand awareness. So yeah. even I have been followed by uh, like a billionaire entrepreneurs, you know, on Twitter. So I have uh, learned a great deal from my colleagues from the United States, how they have built up their success, how they connected with the world, how they have become uh, um, keynote speakers, you know. So so it's just remarkable to what extent you can learn through networking. So luckily, uh, I have fired on cylinders uh, on Twitter and uh, I have gone into overdrive. So I have put my uh, shoulder to the wheel and um, I have made my dreams come true because now I have a, now I'm at the forefront of digital transformation social media because of my indefatigable hard work in the last nine years and uh, success uh, is, not, is not accidental. Success is the end. So mm. I have earned my success through my hard work, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, Twitter then is a good platform for you. And I'm just looking here at Twitter. Um, and yes. so your last tweet, start, start now, start where you are, start with what you have, yes. start with what you already know, start moving toward the goal, start small, start now, just start. Um, I liked the, there's a phrase, isn't there? The, the, I can't remember the phrase where you kind of, you repeat the, the, the end is the beginning to sort of repeat it and the key bits in the middle kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so you start with what you already know. I guess this is one of the big questions for people, um, you know, that, that they have is like, how do you create good, compelling content on a consistent basis for a platform like Twitter? Um, and it, because it, it's very noisy, it's very, you, you can easily get very drowned noisy. out, I think. And just um, imagine, just imagine that you also uh, will need to cope with toxicity of Twitter because mm. it's not a walk in the park just to build your following. I mean, you need to be, it is an uphill battle on Twitter. Just imagine, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. I mean, it's true on any platform, isn't it? It's an uphill battle. Um, and I can see why a lot of people get put off by it and don't do it. Or they start doing it and two days later f can't think of anything to say. Or they, they download the app and it's like, well, what do I tweet? What do I... So what advice... I mean, what's your own personal strategy when it comes to tweets? What sort of things do you tweet about? Well, how do you keep that consistency? Matt, you know, I'm a curious guy to the core, you know? I'm curious how Jeff Bezos built Amazon. I'm curious how... Elon Musk uh, started uh, going uh, on a uh, strong path to success. I'm curious how, uh, I mean, uh, Travis Kalanick started uh, building uh, uh, Uber, you know, yeah. with, uh, with uh, Ryan Graves. So Ryan Graves became a billionaire because Ryan uh, replied to Travis through Twitter, said uh, uh, Travis uh, tweeted that he was hiring first product marketing manager in San Francisco Bay Area in 2011. So Ryan replied, they met, they started uh, building Uber together and Ryan Graves became a billionaire through Twitter <laughs> a few years later. You know, it's all about networking, you know? Yeah. So, so you know, Twitter is like a happy hunting ground, happy yeah. hunting ground for uh, ambitious people, ambitious people, you know? So uh, I would, um, I was tweeting uh, quotes of successful people, entrepreneurs. I was uh, sharing videos. I was uh, sharing articles from um, you know, Forbes and uh, major uh, media publications, you know? And, you know, uh, 
as I say that uh, uh, nothing, nothing succeeds like success. Then I, I started growing from strength to strength. And then, uh, then you know, it, it had a, like a snowball effect on my um, uh, statistics on Twitter. And uh, then, you know, I mean, I was I was just tweeting, you know, my, my parents and my uh, family members were asking me to go out and hang out with my friends. But I have forgotten everyone for a few years in order to sacrifice, in order to build my community, my and authenticity, authenticity is what sets me apart, Matt, because, you know, I'm a bona fide uh, influencer. If you check out uh, like a, a Twitter audit of my Twitter, like a 98 percent of my Twitter followers are real because I, I, I was building organically, organically, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. uh, organically. And you went so many executives, uh, I mean, use Twitter from four to five hundred brands, business schools. So so they helped me a lot in gear, in gaining ground going place and moving up moving up in the world so everyone sees who i am today uh very ambitious very a forward thinker you know i de even deploy still deploy long-term thinking i uh, i reinvest every penny in my growth you know if you google like a digital transformation keynote speaker my website appears uh, on page two i'm mm. even in a six million results six million million results you know so but but uh, my my website has great authority because I'm a, I am I put my heart and soul into industry. So Google chooses me mm -hmm. as one of the top three, top three digital transformation keynote speakers in the world because of based on my strong performance and consistency. So consistency, as you mentioned, Matt is decisive and a game changer, you know. Mm. So the key then uh, to building a personal brand is you, you talked about um, having compelling content, being consistent. Um, I mean, I, I'm looking here at the numbers, and you've you've written 100 and what did it say, 133,000 or something like that tweets. Mark, I was I was I was truly crazy about tweeting. You know, I I was working 16 hours a day on Twitter to build my network uh, uh, from scratch uh, organically, authentically. You know, so as you know that I I posted I posted more than 130,000 times or 125,000 times just because I'm consistent. And mm. I, I, I love communicating and I have the gift of the gap. And, you know, I always try to communicate with other people. Even if someone is successful, if someone is a tycoon, billionaire, it means that uh, uh, you can also become uh, like, a, like a tycoon. You can also be on the path to success. So mm. you need to be very open minded. Matt. So open mindedness has been my has been the bedrock of my growth because I always try uh, to surround myself with smarter people. And I never say that uh, I'm the smartest person in the room. No, I, I always, I'm always in learning mode, in growth mode, outside my comfort zone, you know. So what are some of the things that are emerging uh, in the digital landscape, um, Vladimir, that you think we need to keep our eye on, that things are going to be game changing? What's getting you excited at the moment? I guess what's what's today's Twitter? Uh, you know, yes, what's... I mean, Web3 is very emerging and very promising, you know, so even we are in a Web2 uh, landscape, marketing landscape nowadays, and even brands struggle with Web2 marketing ecosystem, mm. but brands struggle because mm. even majority of clients I know, uh, and even prospective clients, they uh, invest 90% of their marketing money on the wrong traditional marketing channels, mm -hmm. you know, they are wasting their money on TV on billboard, on TV, on uh, radio, on, in magazines, in print, you know, so they need to tell their story the where 4.8 billion people spend their time online. They need to be in their eyeballs and ears business. Mm -hmm. They need to win attention as they, they need to win attention in a nine seconds through their stories. Not because as you know, that people have a short, uh, short uh, attention span. So, so it's just, uh, you need to, uh, win attention at a drop of a head, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't agree more. And I, I think actually the, the attention span seems to be getting smaller and smaller yes. for people, doesn't it? It's, um, yeah. it's, it's, it's only going down. It is not going up. Um, yes. so, yeah. so Matt, you know, you, even as an award judge, I can see what brands are doing. So, so, so the world has put my personal brand building on a pedestal because I have put my, uh, 
you know, heart and soul, you know, even, even, you know, I have the underdog mentality, you know, I, I know that I will turn the tables through my hard work, you know, if people denigrating uh, uh, Twitter in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, I'm now a winner because I have shown consistency. I have told my story. I told my story in 2014, 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. 2017. So, so the market is a decision maker. The market decided that Uber, Uber Airbnb, Spotify uh, are good. And the rest of the brands uh, that uh, disregarded internet and social media uh, gone, uh, have gone out of business. You know, for example, Blockbuster uh, disregarded uh, uh, to buy uh, uh, Netflix for $50 million mm -hmm. in 2007. And uh, the, they have gone out of business because they are outdated business models. You know, they, yeah. they were thinking, they were thinking that in internet was not going to affect their business. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, when it's I a very famous Virginia, story, isn't it? Yeah. When I was in Virginia in 2006, uh, even I, I was, uh, I, I, I used to see uh, uh, blockbuster stores in my area, you know, in Westgate. I, I live in Westgate, you know, so. So, but but um, um, uh, the market is tough. You you need to keep up with the latest trends and adapt what is coming, mm. and uh, to stay ahead of the car. And marketing is uh, the ultimate driver of business results. So you need to constantly reinvent yourself, and you need to uh, be a long term thinker. You know. Mm. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Very good. So. I'm curious, Vladimir, you're working crazy hours, you're investing a lot of time and energy still into your brand and into your clients. What, what recharges your batteries? What do you do um, to sort of uh, refill your tank? Well, I, I love playing uh, tennis. I also love rock climbing. I'm a climber to the core, you know, so so these two sports are my pastimes because i don't have much time just to i mean uh, to spend in gym or i mean uh, to i mean because i'm working 15 16 hours a day uh, it is a very hectic schedule because i'm uh, supposed to uh, deliver my keynote speeches uh, you know, judge biggest uh, projects and nominations at uh, uh, award ceremonies you know i receive mm. a request for from media to feature me you know, and uh, I also deliver my master classes, workshops. Mm, I mean, uh, so uh, it, it's I have so many ongoing projects. But playing golf, playing uh, tennis, and uh, uh, rock climbing are to my pastimes because you know these uh, two activities truly uh, galvanize me to achieve more. Uh, to I'm a big uh, fan of tennis. You know, I love Andy mm. Murray. I love Djokovic. I love uh, Roger Federer. I love their mindset, how they respect each other. Mm -hmm. I love uh, their mentality that they everyone wants to achieve more. And it's a very competitive world, Matt. You know, even yeah. uh, even tennis is very competitive. So so the growth of uh, Novak Djokovic also inspires me because uh, he started uh, he started uh, turning all the tables. He sh uh, he has shown more consistency. He's mes mentally very robust. You know. So it's all about a mental game, Matt, you know, mental mm. game, because everyone, uh, everyone uh, plays tennis, everyone is healthy, but it's all about mental game. And I would say that uh, success is also a mental game. So mm. you need to be able uh, to cope with negativity. You need to be able to cope with uh, uh, skeptics, doubters. Uh, and uh, so you need to just move forward, never look back and uh, to, to have a uh, sick skin. It's very yeah. important. Because, yeah. because uh, if uh, their uh, if their critics affect you, then you go backward. So you should uh, always choose optimism. You should always uh, uh, choose positivity. Uh, you need to um, be collaborative because nobody has uh, time to waste in high places because those are millionaires and billionaires and building their startups and uh, they are speaking. They are extremely busy. So so you need to be very finicky and choosy when it comes to your circle because your circle will. Uh, uh, will uh, determine your future and your success. So you are a product of five successful people you hang out with, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. So I, I, part of me is almost afraid to ask Vladimir, but what does growth look like for you? What does more look like? Where, where's the future going? Matt, it is a great question. You know, I just want to be in the right place at the right time with the right people. You know, I'm now 35 and uh, uh, from the vantage point of the present, I have always fired on all cylinders and I, I'm proud of every step I have taken. That uh, I'm a very diligent, very hardworking, very dexterous, very 
uh, they, they say that uh, 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 elbow grease uh, is the best polish and uh, you just need to be very hardworking, you know. Mm-hmm. So the harder and smarter you work, the luckier you get, you know. Mm-hmm. You need to put your your future in your hands. You need to depend on your on your on only on yourself. You need to pedal your own canoe and you need to stand on your own two feet, you know. So you should never depend on MBAs, on people, on, uh, I, I mean, your friends, because you need to, you, you, you should be a solo entrepreneur. You need to be depend on your yourself. You need to make the right decisions, right decisions. Because I want everyone to to listen it carefully. Right decisions. Mm. Who are listening to? If you are listening to people who have given on their dreams, you should dissociate yourself with them and start associating yourself with successful, smarter, better people. You know, if you are in complaint mode, if you are uh, in such mode, even you are going to backward. So. We need to choose optimism. We need to choose positivity. And and I'm sure that uh, uh, time after time you will be on the right path to success. Because uh, if I can do it, if I can do it, anybody can do it. You know. Mm. Yeah. Oh, powerful. Powerful stuff, man. Um, listen, Vladimir, we have come to that stage of the show where we do the question box. Oh yes, yes. this is the random question. I'm going to flick through the questions. You're going to tell me when to stop. Wherever we stop, that's the question we ask. Okay. Please stop. Okay. Uh, That's an interesting question. Um, Would you, and this is presuming you don't, but would you like to believe in God? Matt, you know, I believe in God, you know, because uh, God helps those who help themselves. And uh, I help myself, you know. Mm Mm-hmm. Even this, my example has demonstrated a great, uh, my case, my success story, that if you work hard, if you love what you do, if you are passionate, God is always uh, uh, by your side, you know? So I, I, uh, I, when I wake up, I'm very thankful to God that I wake mm. up, I'm healthy, that I choose optimism, I choose positivity. I t- always try to surround myself with right people. And I'm, I'm just, life is very short, but I'm very grateful for small mercies. I'm I'm very kind to the core, you know, very kind guy, but very uh, success, very ambitious, very competitive, mm. very driven, you know. I'm very passionate, you know, because my parents invested their fortune in me that they sold their house in Georgia yeah. to, to to prepare me from the United States for the UK, and uh, I want my parents to be proud of my performance, my activities. And even if they watch me on TV or if they listen to me on podcasts or if they see me in the magazines, I know that I'm doing the right thing. So they are proud of my activities, you know. Is that what drives you, Vladimir? The fact that your parents gave up so much so you can have this yes, current because, life? You know, Matt, you know, I mean, my father is a professor in Georgia. My mother is a doctor. And uh, uh, I was born in a very hardworking family, you know. I mean, uh, uh, hard work has always been uh, noticeable in my family. Uh, mm. in, in, in the last 35 years since uh, I was born in, fam- in this family. So I don't have my time to waste. Uh, I'm very finicky. I'm uh, in the learning mode, growth mode. So I want my parents to be proud of me because of proud of my performance that uh, I have been showing uh, uh, patients uh, from year to year than they yeah. knew. That uh, that I, if I was going to show more patience, the result result would come. So they would be proud of my per- global performance. You know. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's an interesting place to end there because actually that's where you started. You started uh, where you were in Jordan, and you sort of bring it back to your parents, which I, I think is quite lovely, um, yes. and, and 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 really nice and special. So. Yeah. So so Matt, you know, my parents, we are not allowed to leave their uh, their country when they were uh, raising and growing up in the USSR. They know how important it is uh, to have a good education, yeah. to invest in yourself, to invest in yourself. And of course, they are the best parents, you know. Uh, like my father is the author of more than 20 books. He has been uh, an eager beaver his entire life, you know. Very contagious, very infectious mm. guy, you know what I mean? So it's a very uh, genetic just that I'm successful, that uh, I'm very ambitious, that. Uh, 
said uh, I don't rest on my laurels, so I always look to my laurels in order to improve my results, you know? Yeah, no, fantastic, fantastic. Well, listen, Vladimir, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable conversation. Uh, I've I've got lots of notes. I've had to work hard to keep up, um, but it's been it's been a great conversation. If people want to reach out to you, if they want to connect with you, what's the best way to do that? You know, I'm available at vladimirbotwaza.com where they can book me as a speaker, as a mentor, as a uh, like lecturer, as a coach. You know, so they can also follow me on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm open to new connections. Follow me on uh, uh, Twitter at Vlado Botswazi, also on Instagram at Vladimir Botswazi. So let's let's connect and build something great together, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, there, all of those links we will, of course, put in the show notes as well, uh, which you can get along for free at the website pushtobemore.com. Uh, we will link to Vladimir's LinkedIn. We will link to uh, your Twitter. And we'll, of course, link to the website. So you'll be able to find all of those things there. But Vladimir, thanks for coming on the show, man. Genuinely, uh, thank you. I really appreciate your energy, your passion. Um, uh, there are very few people that I, I, I've, I've listened to, I think, that maybe work as hard as you do. Oh, um, yeah. So, my, you know, know. Also, so uh, uh, compliment also from my side because uh, I watched your episode with Neil Morecraft and other amazing people, and you are a true story storyteller at the heart. You know, I have been a guest uh, on more than 30, 35 podcasts, and I know that you stand out through your qualities, through your authenticity, through your thought provoking ideas and questions. And I loved uh, uh, being uh, a guest on your podcast, you know. Oh, super kind of you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I'm glad you enjoyed that episode with Neil. He's a great guy, Neil, a great story. So um, he sent my regards to Neil. I hope we connect and build great things together. Yeah, Glad absolutely. It. He's a great guy. You should definitely reach out to him. Uh, but um, yeah, of course, uh, all legends on the Push to Be More podcast. But thank you, Vladimir. And genuinely, uh, huge thanks to you for joining me today. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what a great conversation. Also, a big shout out to today's show sponsor, Orion Media. If you're wondering if podcasting is a good marketing strategy for your business, do connect with them at Orion media.com that's a u r i o n media.com uh be sure to follow push to be more wherever you get your podcast from because we have got yet more great conversations lined up and i don't want you to miss any of them and in case no one has told you yet today you are awesome yes you are created awesome it's just a burden you have got to bear vladimir has to bear it i've got to bear it and you've got to bear it as well. Oh, yes. Now, Push To Be More is produced by Orion Media. You can find our entire archive of episodes on your favorite podcast app. The team that makes this show possible is Sadaf Bainon, Estella Robin, and Tanya Hutzelak. Our theme music is by Josh Edmondson. And as I mentioned, if you would like to read the transcript or show notes, head over to the website pushtobemore.com. So that's it from me. That's it from Vladimir. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a fantastic week, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.